One of the uh, big advantages we have discovered here in Iceland uh, about geothermal is uh, how extremely beneficial in economic terms it is and how cheap the cost of heating the houses and, and running the companies, the electricity and so on has become. Of course, the initial investment cost is high, but then you have to realize that uh, the system will more or less run itself with very little maintenance for half a century or even more. And in terms of what the Icelandic households and the consumer pays, it is ridiculously low if you compare it with other countries. For example, given the price of electricity for a household here in Iceland, if you have an electric car, the total cost of running that car for, for a whole year giving the electricity prices, is equal to two fillings of gasoline uh, in the U.S. What limits Iceland from going fully clean and renewable in the next five years? Well, the main problem is that the car companies are not supplying us with a sufficient number of electric cars. Okay. If they were on the market in a sufficient number, we could, in the next four or five years, cut Iceland down to perhaps only 5 to 7 percent dependence on oil and coal. So what are some of the business opportunities that have come out of the geothermal resource here in Iceland? The most fascinating aspect is uh, the data storage uh, in Iceland, because many of the information technology companies uh, want to base their operation on clean energy. The combination between the information society and the clean energy co economy is an appealing market uh, combination for many companies. You can basically use Iceland as a location for storing data, all kinds of data, American telephone calls, uh, healthcare records, uh, data from oil companies, whatever kind of data you need to store for a long time. And what most of us don't realize is that the enormous data that we are creating every day and the access we want to have to that data requires enormous amount of energy. You can store it in Iceland. You have uh, abundance of clean energy. You have the wind, so you don't have to uh, spend a lot of money uh, cooling the place down as you need to do in data centers. Here we just open the window. <laughs> and what is more, because we have a nationally integrated power grid, we can locate these data storage centers in different parts of the country. When I talked to Bill Gates about this sort of three years ago, most people thought I was crazy when I was opening up this possibility. Now, we are already building the first data storage center Is that right? in this country, yes. Fantastic.